born of the spirit. John. Jesus verse 5, right? When he said unto me, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Verse 6. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. My goodness. And that which is born of the spirit is what? Please read again with me. Please read verse 6 together. Read verse 6 together. One, two, go. <laughs> born of the spirit that which is born of the spirit is what verse 6 I want to read that let's read it again verse 6 one to go I need you to concentrate. Please, let's read again. One, two, go. That which is born of the flesh will remain flesh. That's the interpretation. Everything that those that are born of the flesh, which means those that are born by a woman, those that are born by a woman will think like those born like a woman. Those born by the woman will feel what those born of a woman feels. Those born of a woman will feel what those born of a woman feels. Then he says, for that which is born, which means there are two types of delivery here. Is somebody here? There are two types of delivery. That which is born of the flesh and that which is born of the spirit. What is the difference between that that is born of the flesh and that which is born of the spirit? The one that is born of the flesh is the normal human being like you and I that came from the mother's womb without Jesus. Those born of the spirit is the one that says from the day you accept Jesus as your Lord and personal savior, you now are no longer born of the flesh, you are now born of the spirit. Which means when they look at you from the throne of grace, they do not look at you as a person born of a woman. They see you now as a person born of the Spirit. So Jesus turns around in verse 7. Let's go back to verse 7. Verse 7. Marvel not. <laughs> Unbelievable. Marvel not that I say to you, you must be born again. Sit, sit. Don't be shocked that I'm saying to you, you must be born again. Which means in this church, there are three kinds of people. Somebody say three. Somebody say three. Ondo, cat, track. What is three in French? Eh? Tra. On do track, cut, sang, sing. My goodness. Those born of the Spirit. There are three people sitting here. Three kinds of people. Number one, sinners. Sinners. Those that have not genuinely, genuinely accepted Jesus 
as their Lord and Savior. Those that are natural beings that are born of the flesh, they are sitting here. The second group of the people sitting here are those that have accepted Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior. The third set of people here are those that don't know why. <laughs> Amen? So, there are those born of the flesh, natural flesh. That is why we call people to give their life to Christ, to repent and accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior. Now, when you repent, you are no longer born of the flesh, you are born of the Spirit. Now, the problem here is that there are people that are born of the Spirit that don't understand what it means. Let's go to school. Somebody say, I'm here. Somebody say, let's go to school. For a man that is born of the Spirit and does not know that you are born of the Spirit, you are most miserable. I watched a movie years ago. Years ago, it was a James Bond movie. In this James Bond movie, James Bond went to Hong Kong. As he was in Hong Kong, you know how James Bond does his thing. All of a sudden, they started chasing him, four men with a knife. Four men were chasing James Bond with a knife. Now James Bond started running. He ran and ran and ran and got to a hall. When he got to the hall, the four men surrounded him. When they surrounded him, he looked within himself and found out that he has a gun. Hello? Uh, somebody say, I'm here. He found out that he had a what? A gun. The men that were chasing him were born of the flesh. Him, James Bond, born of the spirit. Knowing that he is James Bond is the realization he has a gun. You miss me. Hello? While they were doing their knife like this, he brought out his gun. Two, 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 two. <laughs> Being born by the Spirit gives us entitlements. This church is quiet. People sleeping on me this morning or what? Be born of the Spirit gives us entitlement. Am I talking to somebody? We are no longer born of the flesh. We are born of the Spirit. There now is a transition from being born of the flesh to being born of the Spirit but not remaining at being born of the Spirit, but knowing you are born of the Spirit. Every man that is born of the Spirit has advantage. All I came to tell you this morning, that if you are born of the Spirit, you have an advantage. Do you know that when you get saved, once you get saved, what the Holy Ghost wants to do first is to change your tongue. To change your what? Your tongue. Don't spirit. Don't talk like those born of the flesh. Every believer, the first place God wants to deal with a real man a woman that is born of the spirit, he changes how you talk. Because those that are born of the flesh sees the pain of the flesh. I am dying. Things are tough. Things are crazy in my life. I don't know what is happening to me. Because your flesh is reporting to you. 
and you are repeating what your flesh is saying to you. But if you are born of the Spirit, what the Spirit is saying to you is not what the flesh is saying to you. That he says, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. The Spirit is saying something different while the flesh is saying something different. The problem with the church is we don't hear the Spirit. We don't know what the Spirit is saying because all we know we have been trained to speak according to the flesh. We've been trained to speak like the flesh. We speak like the flesh. Let me tell you something. A man born of the spirit is unkillable. Is what? Unkillable. Jesus said, I lay my life down. No man takes it from me. Years ago, while we were building this auditorium, a white woman, somebody say white. White did not dictate what she said. She was walking under this bridge. Two guys came to her with a gun and said, give me your bag. She said, which bag? Say, give me your bag. She said, my bag? He said, do you know me? I am a child of God. You want to take my bag? Razugabade, liratakata, miratukateke, labradikada. Her voice was different. Her sound was different. Because he who is born of the spirit is spirit. He who is born of the spirit. You are, you are a witch. Christian witch. Mm, they won't like that. You are no longer the same. Are you listening to me? Your words are no longer the same. The things you say. Ah, we will keep preaching this thing until Jesus comes. Am I talking to somebody? Your words must be different. I know there is a battle between the spirit and the flesh. The spirit is saying something else. The flesh is reporting what it is feeling. The flesh is dictated by feeling. The spirit is dictated by faith. Am I talking to somebody? Seeing the things the natural eyes cannot see. We were building this auditorium. I told the engineer, six months from today, we are moving in. He says it's not possible. I say it is possible. He said you don't even have approval yet. I say we're moving by December. How do we know that the flesh was not talking? We went to our old place and we withdrew our lease. We canceled our lease and we are saying we are leaving by December. There are some of us here. We are just sitting. No, not knowing you are spirit. Hey, this is not the kind of message people shout. You are what? They don't even answer me. You are what? <laughs> Some of them have said, Bishop, when did we become spirit? But we are here now. How did we become spirit? He that is born, please go back to verse 6. John chapter 3, verse 6. Now listen, listen. That which is born of the flesh is what? And, which is the second one. That which is born of the spirit. We like to say born of the spirit. But he did not stop there. He said is spirit. You are not ordinary. Help me, Holy Ghost. 
tell your neighbor you are not ordinary. You are a Jesus witch. Because that's the only way you can understand when I say witch. When we say witch, you understand the spirit. When we say spirit, you don't understand. He that is born, but you, that's why he said, but you must be born again. He said, the criteria for you to operate at this level, you must, <laughs> you must be born again. We are not talking about you must come to church. You must be born again. We have, it has become a cliche, I'm a born again. I'm a born, born to what? What are you born again to? It is not palatable because people don't know that you are born into a spirit. You are no longer operating in the flesh. You are born into a spirit. Therefore, because you are born into a spirit, you, are you must operate like a spirit. I'm a born again. So what? Are you operating like a spirit? Number two, when you are born again, you now have the mind of Christ. Hey. You have what? The mind of Christ. Your business acumen is sharp. You think like a God. You operate like a God. Your analysis is like a God. You answer like a God. You act like a God. Are we okay here? <laughs> Somebody needs to pray. There's a thick cloud here resisting me from telling the truth. There's a thick cloud here. Listen to me. You, the Bible says you are gods. You are what? You are gods, but because you think like men, you will die like mere men. Ah, listen to me. Christianity did not even, was not possible in the time of Daniel. Christianity. In the time of Daniel, there were no Christians. In the time of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, there were no Christians. In the time of Elijah, some of you are sitting here saying, God of Elijah, ta! What Elijah? Who is Elijah? Was he saved? Did he have Jesus? Is he a spirit? No. He that is born of the spirit is spirit. Aha, uh -huh, it's opening up. He that is born of the spirit. Elijah wasn't born of the spirit. Not even Moses was born of the spirit. But you are born of the spirit with an incorruptible blood. The blood of Jesus has set you free from sin and condemnation. You walk in a different realm. You have the mind of God. You have the mind of God. Those born of the Spirit have supernatural access. Supernatural what? Supernatural access. I, Dr. Ida Peter said, I speak to devils. You didn't hear that. I speak to who? The ones I'm talking to, you think they're your sisters or your brother? They're devils. It, we're not talking about being a pastor. We're talking about being born again. 
every born again Christian has access because you are spirit you deal in the spirit realm spirits are threatening you because you don't know you are born of the spirit somebody say I'm here I can't hear you somebody shout I'm here somebody scream I'm here somebody scream I'm here you have assets you know when I started preaching I would wait to feel the spirit does anybody know what it means to feel the spirit I can feel the spirit you will hear the choir say the spirit has not come down yet you will hear the choir say let us worship to bring down the spirit that is a lie from the bottom of hell you cannot bring down the spirit you cannot feel the spirit if christ dwells in you he shall quicken your mortal bodies the same christ that the same spirit that raised christ from the dead dwells in you I don't need to prepare to release power. It's inside. Satan has made us think that we are normal. Once you think you are normal, you are normal. Am I talking to somebody? You have the spirit. Once you are born again, the spirit of Christ dwells in you. He gives you divine access. You don't need to scream for the spirit to show up. All you need to do is show up, the spirit shows up. The spirit is waiting for you. While you are waiting for the spirit, he that is born of the spirit is not say you will be spirit <laughs> he's already telling you that because you are born again you are what my god my god that devil is a bastard we think of flesh too much we think of natural too much because we think like this we don't operate two days ago i was meditating on the word And the Holy Spirit said to me, you know, anytime you want to pay your bills, you can pay your bills. I said, eh. Hey. He said, yes. The spirit. Spirit. Your spirit. I said, I'm spirit. Oh. Say your spirit. He said, call it. All things answers to spirit. It doesn't answer to flesh. I say, my goodness. Are you, are, are you understanding what I'm saying? We must step in to the realm of understanding that we are not ordinary. The Bible says, Elijah was a man like us. He will just give you an example. He says, like a man like us. He, he prayed and he, he stopped the rain. He stopped it for three years and he said this by my word there shall be no rain a man looked at the moon and said be still are you listening to me be, be, be still i had an equipment once in my house i looked at this equipment it was a clock or something this clock i said this clock is expensive why are you not working i can't pay this kind of money and you don't work I said, when I go and come back, you start. Clock. When I came back, my clock was on time. We are spirits. Are you listening to me? You must 
I said there are three sets of people now. One that is born again, you don't know why. You don't know what this born again is all about. You have been translated from flesh into another realm. Am I talking to somebody? We must begin to walk in the realm of the spirit. <laughs> Two days ago, I was listening to Pastor Chris. He said they were young. He was 15 years. 15 years. In their house, they lost their key. They were about to go, they lost their key. Now, one of their elders, say the elder say, is a, a Christian. He was outside waiting for them to come. He said, guys, why are you not coming? He said, uh, we can't find the key. He said, did you ask God? He said, wait. Father, we're looking for the key. We're about to go out. Where's the key? Oh, he said, daddy says it's in the file. Go to the file. They went to the file. The key was there. It is operating in a realm. Listen to me. We are tired of children. Christians that are children. For 10 years you've been going to church. Five years you've been going to church. What are you a Christian for? What realm are you operating by this time? Where is your business? Where is your thinking? Where is the level where you are? Every time you come to church, you are thinking of Dr. Ida Peter side. All I need to do is to teach you. And release you to go and operate like gods. You have access. You have what? You have access. You have access to the throne room of grace. He said, come boldly to the throne where you can obtain favor and mercy. Therefore, if you are born of the spirit, you walk in favor. You walk in what? In supernatural favor. Because you are not ordinary. Jesus said, go to the water. Open the fish. Take the money you see there. Pay for yourself. <laughs> Pay for myself. Pay for me. What kind of man is this? Some of us say, some of us are busy saying, if Jesus were here, if Jesus were here, is that not what we say? If Jesus were here, Jesus, Jesus is saying, I don't need to be there. You are there. You are the Jesus in your community. You are the Jesus in your village. Your business needs your Jesus, which is you. Speak to your business to grow. Speak to your destiny to grow. Speak to your family to grow. Speak your peace by yourself. There is something inside of us. It is called the Holy Ghost. He that is born of the Spirit, it did not say will be Spirit. It says you are what? You are a Spirit living in the flesh. When a man dies, there is no difference. When a man dies, when a man dies, see? when a man dies, this man holding, I know there is coro, but when a man dies, he just does this. The flesh is still here. It is the spirit that lives. The spirit. Because it is spirit. It is no longer flesh. He goes to be with his creator. This is buried to the ground. All he's saying to you. The thing, come again son. All he's saying to you. This thing inside of you is bigger than what you think is greater than what you think he says don't allow this body to control this one let this one control this one then your victory will be guaranteed 
because you are no longer of the flesh you are of the spirit and it is the spirit of god that operates in you that gives you the grace to walk now all you need to do when you want to think you will say spirit think for me when you want the blessing you will say spirit i need favor The reason again I say God changes our tongue gives you a tongue that Satan cannot understand. Stand. Look at me. Let her go. Let her go. You see, eh? We must understand something. Pity, you hear me? We must understand something. When I look at her, I don't see her. I see the person behind the scene. And I say, go. I'm not talking to this. I'm talking to that. The other person behind the scene. He starts doing like this. Not her. Her activity is reflecting the activity of the other person. If you have the spirit of God, okay, and I come to you, I look at you, I am seeing the spirit of God. And I look at you and I say, in the name of Jesus, be blessed. Be blessed. I am asking the man behind the scene. <laughs> you follow? I'm asking behind the man behind the scene to change the game. You see? I'm asking, I say, hey, hey, spirit. Change the game. This man needs cash. This man needs to be healed. This man needs to be blessed. This man's life needs to change. Because I walk in the power of the Holy Ghost, the spirit in between you begins to react. When you are going this way, say, Baba, not there. Go and apply here. You had the girl say, I've been applying for three weeks, for four weeks without a job. When she came, we redirected the spirit that made her apply. When she applied, the spirit went there and said, give it. Give it. I have been directed to bless. And I must bless. Stand to your feet. You are born of the spirit. For the first time, I want you to pray like you know you are saved. <laughs> Ask God anything this morning. Let not your mind think because your mind will put stumbling blocks. Your mind will tell you you are from Namibia or from Zimbabwe. Your mind will tell you you are not good enough. Your mind will tell you you are not tall, you are not short, you are not big. The mind, the flesh will fight. But if the spirit agrees, are you here? If the spirit that is inside of you, that is why, Sissy, he changes how we talk. That is why we do shalitama klilato sukaprata. Satan does not understand one word we are saying. It does not concern him. All he does is speaks to the flesh. Look at your hand. Look at your leg. Anywhere he speaks is the flesh. And the only place he speaks is the mind. The mind is the flesh. Remember his flesh. But the spirit 
is of God. He cannot control it. So we ask believers, pray in the Holy Ghost. Because when you pray in the Holy Ghost, you pray mysteries that only the Spirit of God understands. And he does not catch a jargon. Because you are a spirit, you now move from the physical and move into the spirit realm where you begin to discuss with the heavenlies. Jilila maha le kretesu bradikata zagu kali lima le teke le kaya. You have lost the devil because he's expecting you to say, My body is paining me. You are saying, Jugagagage. He said, What of the headache? You say, Bladuku sukapa kataya. He becomes a fool in your presence, but you are discussing with the throne of grace. Listen to me, you're about to pray. You are spirit. Then I'm going to lay hands on some people to increase your faith. Laying of hands is for children. It is like parents feeding a child. Laying of hands is not for mature people. I'm sorry to say. For children. But sometimes the child needs faith. He needs a faith booster. He will say, if only my father can put hands on me. It's, a, it's part of the, the uh, ways of receiving from heaven. We need to go past deliverance and get into delivery. Into the place of power. 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 If Christ dwells in you, shall quicken your mortal bodies.